What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel. I messed up my own intro. Let me let me redo that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome back to another episode of the Madden 21 Retro Miami Dolphins Rebuild here on obviously Madden 21 on the PC. Now if you guys missed the last episode, it was the 2012 playoff special. You gotta go back and watch it. I'll give you three seconds to pause this video, go back and watch that video, and then come back and watch this one. I don't want to spoil it. So three, two, one done all right so if you haven't paused it already i'm assuming you don't care about spoilers so the spoiler is we won the super bowl baby our second super bowl in this series we won the first one in 2008 and now we are here in 2012 2013 in the uh the 2012 off season headed into the 2013 nfl draft with another lombardi on our shelf so obviously we have the probably the worst pick in the draft this year but if you guys remember we have that pittsburgh pick so let's find out i have not looked at it yet it turns out that pick is pick nine all right i did not look at it before this draft so i did not know it was pick nine um as for negotiations that's fine we we, we can work with pick nine as for negotiations uh i franchise tagged max unger so we will have him for another season so i can hopefully um work on a contract negotiation with him if not i'll probably take a center in this draft uh as for everybody else i'm not interested in bringing these guys back michael johnson he's asking for too much money as a 74 overall so i'm probably going to trade michael johnson and i'm going to trade cameron wake he is 31 years old 75 overall he's not in our plans for the future so i'm going to see what i can get for him i don't know if it's a lot but I'm going to see what I can do. As for retirements, before we do that, we got to check retirements out. So we had Brian Westbrook and Olindo Mare retire. So we are going to need to find a kicker. That's actually shocking. I did not realize Olindo Mare retired, but he spent his whole career in Miami. He won two Super, Super Bowls, so he's a Hall of Famer, at least in our books. And those are our two retirements. As for the rest of the league, Brandon Moore, Chris Chambers, LeVar Arrington, Steve Smith. I was actually looking to bring Steve Smith in this season. I was going to try and pull off a trade for him, but he retires, so he's gone. Um, anybody else? Levi Jones, Jamal Lewis. Cardinals had a few guys. Chad Pennington, former MVP. Chad Pennington retires. And Justin Smith retires. So you guys remember the end of last episode, or not? maybe not the end, but... Um, towards the last episode when we were talking about the Pro Bowl, Justin Smith had made the Pro Bowl, and I mentioned that I was thinking about trying to uh, make a blockbuster trade for Justin Smith. Well, it's a good thing I didn't because he's right here in retirement. So he's gone out of the league, retired. Sean Rogers, Drew Carter, David Boston. Uh, Champ Bailey retires on the Jaguars, so that's pretty interesting. Seneca Wallace, Joey Porter, uh, Brian McKinney, Mike Brown, Darren Sharper. Orlando Brown, uh, anybody else? Matt Bryant, that's an, that's an interesting one. Aaron Brooks, TJ Duckett, David Tyrell, ew, gross, or David Tyrell, I guess. Um, and that's it. No coaches ended up retiring, so some big names in the retirement in the retirements this year. Before we go any further, uh, we got to try and trade Cameron Wake. We got to try to trade my, uh, Marcus Johnson. Because they'll we'll lose our contract on them, and then they'll be free agents, so we won't get anything for them. So there are a few teams that are green interest on Cameron Wake. We will start with the Bengals, obviously, because Justin Smith retired, so um, they're going to need something. Actually, out of all the teams that have uh, green interest, who has the best draft pick? Because that could be something where we get another first-round pick. Instead of pick nine, we could have, like, pick five or something. Does anybody that has green interest have a high pick the Patriots have picked 29 pick 14 I think is the highest we've seen so far the Ravens pick 20 everybody that wants Cam Roik is a, is a championship contender the Steelers they don't even have a first round pick because we have obviously I don't know why I even checked them pick 28 so nobody has a high first round pick we could trade Cameron Wake to the, the Bengals, but I, you know what? I think I'll trade Marcus Johnson, or at least attempt to trade Marcus Johnson to the Bengals because uh, that's where he is. He was in real life. Who has the highest pick? I think it was the... the uh, Who was it? It was the Lions. I think they had pick 14 or something, right? No, they had pick 21. Who had pick 14? Was it the, the Patriots? They had pick 29. The Packers? I don't remember who had pick... There, the Raiders had pick 14. That's who it was. 
All right, they got Phil Rivers as their quarterback too. So that almost went through right away. So if I just throw in a nice little draft pick, we could be getting pick 14 as well. So if I throw in a nice seventh round pick, that doesn't really make anything happen. But if I go in here into my little bag of tricks, throw in a fifth round pick, that does a little bit. I don't really have a lot of draft picks, so I don't want to throw too much in there. But if I throw you Eddie Pleasant, ooh, that, that'll go through straight up, I think, right? Yeah, that's going to go through straight up. Maybe I can get, like, a pick next year or something, another fourth round pick next year. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this will go through if I throw in... If they give me their sixth round pick next year. So Cameron Wake and Eddie Pleasant for the 14th overall pick this year and a sixth round pick next year. That's perfect. And now we try and trade Michael Johnson. Now I know this is bad because we only have Jabal Sheard left, but we've got enough defense ends and I can always draft another one or sign somebody in free agents or even trade for somebody. So let's see. Hopefully the Bengals are interested in him. They are. But although, is there anybody else different that's interested in Michael Johnson that wasn't interested in? No, it looks like all the same teams. So let's trade him to the Bengals because that's where he was in real life for a while. Pick 19. How does this go through? Wow. Okay. Almost going through. Is there anybody that has got a higher pick? Because I would rather have a higher pick than pick 19. Pick 19 is pretty low in the draft. The Patriots don't have a high pick. I don't know if the Saints do. They have pick 16, which is a little bit higher. Steelers, we can't check them because we just checked them. We have their pick. Pick 28. So who was that pick that had? It was the Saints. Pick 16. Three spots higher, but it's going to be a little bit more. So I'll just go to the Bengals. It doesn't matter. It's still a first-round pick. So that takes us up there. All right. They need a middle linebacker. We have a ton of those middle linebackers. We have Vontez Burfigd bringing him to the Bengals. Wow, that is going to go through. All right. I did not realize that was going to be so uh, almost going through. We don't want to give up a defensive tackle. I have a ton of wide receivers. Uh, Devin Hester. This is where we get rid of Devin Hester. Because I would assume this is going to go through. So if you give me a fourth round pick this year, that's not going to go through. So if you give me a pick next year, like a fifth round pick next year, that's not going to go through. Will this go through? Oh, Devin Hester doesn't even make it go through. All right. So nobody wants Devin Hester. That's fine. You want Cole Beasley? They don't want Cole Beasley. They don't want my young up-and-coming wide receiver. So I may have to throw in a draft pick, which I don't want to do. But if I throw in my seventh round draft pick, it's not going to matter too much, will it? It will not. So we send Michael Johnson and Vontaze Burfecht back to their original team that they that they are they were on in real life, and we get the first or we get the 19th pick out of that. So that's pretty good. Now we don't have to sign anybody else in free agency or uh, back to a contract. So now we can start free agency and let's see who is even in the class. I don't even know who's in the free agent class this year. All right, Nick Mangold is the star of this free agent class. Interesting. He wants around $33 million, and the 49ers are going in on him and going in on John Henderson. Nick Mangold is only 29. It would give us the opportunity to work on a contract with Max Unger. I don't know. Peyton Manning entered free agency, and he might be going to the Vikings. All right. That's pretty cool. Peyton Manning in free agency. Cool. <laughs> Good for him. Uh, we don't need a quarterback because we have Cam Newton and... and uh, uh, Russell Wilson. I forgot his name for a second. Uh, D'Angelo Williams. Ronnie Brown's still here. He's a 31-year-old running back. Darren Sproles is here. Denny Woodhead. We do need to bring in a running back because all we have is Jamal Charles because Brian Westbrook obviously retired. So let's see. Michael Bush doesn't have any offers. Michael Bush might not be that bad of an option to bring in as a backup. Offer him like a two-year deal. Give him about eight million dollars. That that could be that could work. I can, I can live with that. James Devlin ends up being a free agent fullback. Is there anybody else here that is free agent? No, it doesn't look like it. Wide receiver Darius Hayward Bay is getting a lot of money. 
I think we're good on wide receivers, so we don't need to get anybody here. Tight end is not looking good because Greg Olson has not progressed the way that I thought he would, probably because he's not the number one receiver. So we might end up trading him. I don't know. Anthony Gonzalez is 37. And he's only getting asking for about he's only asking for about uh, eight million dollars. If I sign him to a two-year deal, I'm not breaking the bank too much because it's Anthony Gonzalez. So if we sign him for ooh, that's not gonna do it. We're gonna have to raise that up a little bit. I forgot we were in a little bit of a bidding war. So if we go to 19 million, that puts us in third. How much are these guys offering him? I can bump it up to six. That puts us in first place, but I kind of want to feel more comfortable in first place. So I'll go up to about 20 and a half million. Or 21 million. All right, that makes me a little, feel a little bit more comfortable. So he'll be our second string tight end if he signs with us. And then we'll trade Greg Olson and then draft a tight end in the, in the draft. Uh, left tackle we are fine with. Except for, I'd like to have a better backup left tackle. So Andre Smith... He doesn't have any offers. We can bump this down and then bump this up to about 12 million. That's a fair offer. As for left guard, we're good. Center, haven't decided on that yet. I think we'll just stick with what we got. Right guard, we're fine with. And right tackle, forgot that we had uh, Donald Stevenson. It's kind of a bust. Uh, left end, is there anybody here that I would possibly take on? No, not looking like it. Wait, what did that say? Vincent, what? Bro. Vincent Burns' age is eight years old. I didn't even catch this. How long has he been in the league? How long has this man been in the league? Vincent Burns is eight years old. I didn't know they let eight-year-olds in the NFL. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. It literally says eight years old. I cannot believe it. We got to sign him just because he's eight years old. He says he's been in... He came in the league when he was one. He came in the league when he was one year old. Bro, this guy is a legend. How is this guy not in the Hall of Fame? He's literally the greatest player of all time. He came in the into the league at eight years old or at one year old. My God, Vincent Burns, you are a legend. I'm bringing you in just on that. <laughs> oh my God, he's eight years old. I didn't realize that that was a glitch, but it, it is a glitch. <laughs> he's eight years old. That's amazing. I've never seen that before. Not in Madden, at least. I've never seen that before. That's real funny. That is real funny, man. <laughs> oh my god, he's eight years old. That's good stuff, bro. That is good stuff. Anyway, <laughs> hopefully he signs with us so we can keep looking at that. Uh, as for other positions of need, Brian Erlacher's got no offers, but we don't need a middle linebacker because we got Luke Keekley and Bobby Wagner. Wait, where's James Laurinaitis? Did Bobby Wagner pass James Laurinaitis? That would be crazy if he did. Did he pass James Laurinaitis? Oh, they're both the same. They're the same overall, but Bobby's got the higher um, X factor. Or he's got an X factor, so that's why he jumped ahead of him. All right, so middle linebacker we don't really need. Not even Brian Erlacher. Uh, Bobby Carpenter... We don't need a right outside linebacker because Dante Hightower is, is looking pretty good and he's only 23. Corner. Brandon Carr did very well this season. Brandon Carr did very, very well this season. How in the world did Chris Harris make it to free agency? Probably because he only got a one-year deal. But I'm going to splash some cash and bring in Chris Harris because he's a beast I could also try and bring in the other McCourty. Mm, you know, screw it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and, and reunite the McCourty brothers. It may take a lot of money, but I'm gonna try and bring both of those guys in. And that's probably gonna have to do it for the budget. I don't wanna spend too much. Ed Reed made it to free agency again. 
We do need a kicker, though. I forgot about that. Um, Justin Tucker at only 70 overall, but he's been in the league for a year. Uh, yes, please. Give me Justin Tucker. Give me Justin Tucker as my kicker, and then Pat McAfee is our punter. So these are our negotiations. We're spending a little bit of cash, but I would assume that we'd have a lot of cash after winning the Super Bowl. So it's mainly just depth, and then uh, and then Vincent Burns. I didn't really want to bring him in, but he's eight years old, so we kind of had to bring him in. So let's simulate to uh, the next week and see if any of those guys signed. Hopefully they all do. All right, so Michael Bush accepts, so he's going to be our backup running back. Andre Smith, except, so he's going to be our backup left tackle, or maybe right tackle if I move him over there. Vincent Burns is coming here. He's eight years old, baby. We got an eight-year-old playing for us now. Let's go. Chris Harris rejected our contract. Interesting. I thought I paid him enough money to come here. Justin Tucker accepts, so he's going to be our new kicker. Um, Jason McCourty accepts, so he's now reunited with his brother. Ninkovich accepts, and uh, Tony Gonzalez rejects. So that kind of stings a little bit. Did those guys accept contracts or did they just not want to come here? League signings. Tony Gonzalez goes to the Bills. All right, so in division, he wanted to play for Buffalo. And then where did Peyton Manning ended up on the Vikings? Where did uh, Chris Harris end up going to the Egyptians? That kind of blows. I really thought he would come here. I thought I offered him enough money, but I guess I did not. I guess I did not offer him enough money for him to come here. But that's fine. We don't need to have Chris Harris because we got Jason McCourty. Uh, do I have anybody else? No, I don't. So now Brian Urlacher's got 11 bids on him. Uh, Michael Bennett didn't accept a contract yet. There's really nobody else here that I would want. Derek Morgan... Derek Morgan might be an interesting guy to bring in on a year contract just to see how he plays. I'll pay him $3 million and then we'll move on and see what happens. Derek Morgan accepts his contract, so he's going to be another depth piece for us. And now I think we can just skip to free agency recap and then the NFL draft. Okay, so here we are in free agency recap. Nick Mangold goes to the Arizona Cardinals. John Henderson to the Texans. Brian Erlacher to the Bengals. Uh, we saw Tony Gonzalez. Michael Roos to the Colts. With Charles Bentley, Niners. Ed Reed to the Titans. Dan Copen to the Texans. McNabb to the Bucks. Dequel Jackson to the Titans. Steven Jackson to the Egyptians. We saw Peyton Manning. Michael Bennett to the Packers. John Abraham to the Steelers. Antro Roll to the Colts. Anthony Hargrove to the Bucks. The Egyptians get Henry Melton, Cam uh, Camryon, Wembley. I don't know who that is. He goes to the Bucks. Uh, Will Blackman and Ray McDonald both go to the Bucks. The Bucks spend a lot of money. So do the Colts. The Colts, the Egyptians, and the Bucks are all spending a ton of money here. Byron Leftwich goes to the Eagles. Chris Harris we saw goes to the uh, Egyptians. Darius Hayden Bay, the Seahawks. D'Angelo Williams, Vikings. Uh, Robert Ayers, the Broncos. Michael Orr, Texans. Nobody else. Antonio Pittman, Panthers. Um, Jason Avant is to the Giants. Vinatieri to the, the Bears. Anthony Gonzalez, Vikings. So a lot of the uh, the same teams are, are showing up. But now it's time for the NFL Draft. The 2013 NFL Draft. And uh, we've obviously got three, four, excuse me, first round picks. Pick 9, pick 14, pick 19, and pick 32. But we don't really need four first-round picks. I feel like that's a little bit excessive. So maybe what we do is we trade the 32nd overall pick, our 32nd overall pick, to maybe the Bears. They got pick 3. Who's got pick 2? Who's got pick 2? Because we don't need pick 1. Who's got pick 2? The Packers have pick 2. So... That's going to be, wow, that's going to be very hard to trade up for, especially giving away just a, the 32nd pick. So what about if we give you Cole Beasley? You want Cole Beasley as well? well? Okay. They actually don't mind Cole Beasley. What about left tackle? We give you Austin Pastor. No, they don't know. That, that didn't work. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's go back to the draft pick, get this pick, and then go over here. And they want a tight end. Is this where we give you? Is this where we give you Greg Olson? 
because I'm hopefully going to draft a tight end. No, I don't think this is where we trade Greg Olson. I don't think this is where we trade Greg Olson. But this could be where we trade AJ Hawk. Right? Or Navarro Bowman. What do they feel about Navarro? Whoa. Whoa. They really, really like Navarro Bowman. And he's not going to fit into our plans. So maybe, just maybe, I could get out without giving up a first round pick? I probably could get out without giving up a first round pick. But I don't need the 32nd pick in the draft. It's just a matter of getting rid of Cole Beasley. That's going to go through. So if I also give you a 7th round pick next year, that's going to go through. And we have the 2nd overall pick in the draft. You see the big brain? You see the big brain at, at work here? We now have the 2nd overall pick in the draft. And we have our pick of whoever we want because... I have a feeling the first pick in the draft is not going to be anybody special. So let's start drafting. The, are now on. the Bucks have the first pick. So they just went out in free agency, spent so much money, and now they get the first pick as well. So who's it going to be? we got to scout out who I want with the first pick. Who do I want with the, with the second pick, I should say? It's not going to be a quarterback, obviously. It may be a running back with Le'Veon Bell. Maybe it's DeAndre Hopkins. That might be who we take. Because we can obviously get one of these guys with one of our later first round picks. There's good left tackles here like uh, Teron Armstead looks pretty good. Lane Johnson looks pretty good. Uh, Travis Frederick is a first round talent. He didn't have a really good combine, but he's got good uh, blocking stats. So maybe we take Travis Frederick. David Bakhtiari is there as well. Uh, on the defensive side, it really needs to be defense. Oops, I didn't mean to put you on the board. Sorry, Sheldon Richardson. It really needs to be defense, I think. Barkevius Mingo, Manti Teo looks pretty good. I don't. There's not really like a stud, a stud player on defense that's like standing out to me. So that's why I'm thinking it's got to be DeAndre Hopkins. He looks pretty good. Hopkins looks real good. If he goes number one, that's going to shock me. But he's got A medium uh, route running, A catch and traffic, and A release. He looks pretty good. He's 6'1", 214. We may reach a little bit, but I just don't think there's anybody else here worth taking with this second overall pick. Maybe Ziggy Ansa. Ziggy Ansa looks pretty good, and we do need a left end. So maybe it's him or it's Sheldon Richardson. I don't know what to do. There's not really a linebacker that I'm looking to take here early. Xavier Rhodes looks decent. Darius Slay looks decent. DJ Hayden. D. Milner doesn't look good at all. Nah, it's gotta be it's gotta be DeAndre Hopkins. We're gonna reach a little bit, but it's gotta be DeAndre. Eric Fisher ends up going number one in this draft, just like he did in real life. So congratulations to him. He's a 69 overall. What happens if I trade this pick? What happens if I trade... Actually, he went second overall. Never mind. Uh, what happens if I trade this pick away? What are they offering me? So, I could get pick eight this year. That's all of this year picks. I could get pick five this year. Ooh, here we go. This is the kind of trade that I was looking for. I'm looking for a first-round pick this year, a high first-round pick this year, a pick next year, and another pick after that. So that, that Cowboys pick might be the move. Uh, the Chiefs are offering me a decent package for it. The Browns not offering me a good package. No, the Broncos aren't offering me anything. The Saints aren't offering me good enough. It might have to be the Cowboys. They're offering me the best package. They're giving me the sixth pick. If we move back here, I don't think DeAndre Hopkins goes in the top five. But can I risk it? 
Can I risk DeAndre Hopkins going in the top five? Ooh, this is a thinker. This is a thinker. You know what I may do? I may accept this trade, move back to the six pick, and then trade with like the Jets or the Bears and get up to the pick and take DeAndre Hopkins. I might be able to big brain this. Hold on. I'm going to accept this trade. Ladies and we move back. We've got we get two more first round picks. And now if I trade with the Bears, because I don't think the Bears will take, or the, the Cowboys will take um, DeAndre Hopkins. If I trade with the Bears and I give them pick 19, because we don't need pick 19 anymore, that's already doing a lot. So if we then go to left tackle and we throw in Austin Pasteur, I don't know how to say his name, that's going to do a lot. And then we throw in A.J. Hawk, who's making a ton of money. This is going to go through, I think. Sorry, A.J. Is this where we get rid of A.J. Hawk? He's making $10.9 million. He doesn't fit our scheme anymore. Is this where we get rid of A.J. Hawk? Our first ever draft pick in the series. It is. We sent him to Chicago. We moved back up to pick three. I just swindled the crap out of the NFL. Next pick, Lane Johnson goes. Now we take DeAndre Hopkins, who I don't think... I think we'd be fine with. I don't think he would have went, but I just want him on my team. He's a 75 with Hidden. We reached a little bit. He's um, ranked five in true talent. We got him with, uh, with the third pick. So he's got hidden potential. That's perfect. But we got our guy. We got our guy to add to a stacked receiving core of Calvin Johnson, Antonio Brown, Julio Jones, T.Y. Hilton, and now DeAndre Hopkins. Next pick is Ziggy Ansah. And then the next pick after that is Jonathan Cooper. So now we have pick six. And now we can focus on getting somebody of need. Who do we want? Is this where we get Le'Veon Bell? Is this where we get... Le'Veon Bell. No, this might be where we get Travis Frederick. I know he didn't have a good combine, but look at these top skills. These top skills might be the move. They might be good enough to warrant the sixth pick in the draft. Uh, as for defensive tackle, we do need a defensive attacker. tackle. How are these guys looking? Sheldon Richardson is looking pretty decent. We might be taking Sheldon Richardson. Because we do need another defensive tackle. Kyle Williams is getting a little bit old. So we may need to get another uh, defensive tackle. D. Milner is not looking that good. Desmond Trufant looks pretty decent. It's probably honestly one of these guys down here that look a little bit better. Like a Tyron Matthew looks pretty good. Uh, Blitty Ray Wilson looks pretty decent. He looks a little worse than Tyron. Logan Ryan looks pretty good. So if we can't end up getting a corner, one of these corners, I think the move is to get one of those corners down there. Uh, Eric Reed looks pretty good. Eric Reed looks real good. But as for center, I think this is where we take Travis Fred. I mean, look at these stats. He's got A minus run block, A, A minus pass block, and A minus impact block. How can you pass up on a guy like that? And that would give us the option to trade Max Unger. We gotta, we gotta do it. 72 with hidden. He can't start for us right away, but he'll develop. He'll develop. And that gives us the opportunity to trade Travis, uh, Jason Kelsey, too. So that's perfect. We'll take it. Who do the Chiefs take with the seventh pick? Tavon Austin. Luke Jokel to the Rams with the eighth pick. And now we're up again. So what happens here? Is this where we take Sheldon Richardson? He looks real good. Is this where we take him? Or do we take Eric Reed? Because our free safety situation is... That's not what I want to do. Our free safety situation is Antoine Bethea and Glover Quinn. Antoine Bethea and Glover Quinn. So that might make us... That might give us the opportunity to trade Antoine Bethea and use Eric Reed. <sighs> oh, 
tackle. We do need a defensive tackle. Our defense tackle spot is a little weak. We got a Dominican Sue and Akeem Hicks, but Kyle Williams is a little bit old. I think we take Sheldon Richardson here. He's a 74 with Hidden. I'll take it. He can grow. He can be perfect for us. Sheldon Richardson is our draft pick. Now the Seahawks with the 10th pick. Take D. Milliner, who ends up being a 72 overall. Deion Jordan to the Falcons. DJ Hayden was a 73. That would have been nice to have. DJ Fluker is a 72. And now with the 14th pick, we probably got to take Eric Reed, right? We probably got to take Eric Reed. Let's just see what he is. He looks real good. He feels like a can't miss. He's a hidden development 74 overall. I'll take it. We've hit on all these picks so far in the first round. And now we have a pick in the second round. Let's see who got EJ Man. EJ Manuel is a 62 overall, and the Colts get him. Congratulations to them. Kyle Long goes to the Saints. Desmond Trufant was a 77. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Didn't expect that. But the Browns or the Broncos. Wait, who got him? The Browns. The Browns get a good pick there. Kenny Vaccaro, Chance Warmack, Xavier Rhodes is a 76. So we're missing out on some high talent corners. But I feel like we needed a free safety more. Tyler Eifert goes. I didn't realize that. Barkevis Mingo. Justin Pugh. Sylvester Williams. Manti Teow. Darius Slay was a 77. All right, all right, all right. Some of these big name guys are going. Zach Ertz to the Patriots is a 68. Kevin Minter. Alec Ogletree. Do we need to jump up anywhere? Travis Kelsey. I, I want Travis Kelsey. I want Travis Kelsey. The Buccaneers are now on the We're in the second round now. What's it going to take to get this second pick? I'll give you this second pick. They want a right outside linebacker. I don't want to give you a right outside linebacker. They want a left guard and a left tackle. Well, they need a lot of offensive linemen. And we're looking at offensive linemen. We took Travis Frederick. So is this where we trade Jason Kelsey? Do they want Jason Kelsey? No, I feel like we could get something else for Jason Kelsey. This may be where we trade Greg Olson. Or maybe Gary Barnage. Would that work? That might work. And then give you a fifth round pick. Give you my fourth round pick. They don't want Gary Barnage, I don't think. Uh ba 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 Well now that we have No, I don't want to do that. You want Marcus Gilchrist? Oops, I didn't mean to change the thing. That's kind of annoying. Give me the Bucks second round pick. I feel like this would go through if I threw in another draft pick. Is this where we get rid of the fourth round? I see both teams filling out cards. It ex you know they means? accept it. So now we take Travis Kelsey because I don't even want to mess around like I did with J.J. Watt. And the not. Are now on the clock. No! Bruh. Why would he take Kiko Alonso? Oh, I just. I, I sold. I just sold. Why did I hit simulate? <laughs> ah! Oh no 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 why did I do that? I just wasted a bunch of assets to take Kiko Alonso because I accidentally simulated the pick. God dang it bro. Is Travis Kelsey even worth it? He may not even go. It's a lot of work. 
the Bears Kawan Short, the the Tank Carradine, Matt Elam, the Sharif Floyd, the the Jamie Collins, the Jamar Taylor. Maybe it's easier to get a pick here. We got to go with the Rams. I cannot believe I did that, bro. That's so frustrating. Oh, why did it go to... Why didn't it say draft, uh, pick player? Why did it take me to that? That's so annoying, bro. I don't have a lot of draft picks to give up anymore. You don't want Donald Stevenson. I understand why you don't want Donald Stevenson. But can you please take him? Oh, why did I do that? We had the opportunity to get Travis Kelsey, and I screwed it up. The Steelers are now on the clock. The Falcons are now on the clock. Le'Veon Bell goes. The Jaguars are now on the clock. Gio Bernard, the Robert Alford. On the clock. God dang it! Oh, our tight end of the future. Why did I screw it up? The Browns are now Man, I'm so mad right now. The Bills are now and Tyron Matthew goes. The that was going to be my pick. Now on the, clock. the Dolphins are now on the clock. Oh my god, bro. This is the worst draft ever. Just because I'm an idiot. Oh my god. Why did I do that? Please tell me. Why? I'm so dumb. <sighs> well, who do we take now? What do we need? I'm taking Tron. I don't care. I don't care. I'm so mad right now. All right, we're back up. I'm still angry. Keenan Allen already went. So that blows. Adam Thielen's still down there. But look at this tight end situation. This was our chance! Why did I screw it up? Jack Doyle's here. Not the worst option. Why am I such an idiot, bro? I cannot believe I did that. I really can't. I really cannot believe I just fumbled the bag like that. It's super frustrating. Uh, give me David Bakhtiari. Give me David effing Bakhtiari. <sighs> We're back up here in the fifth round. We didn't have a pick in the fourth round. You guys already knew that. I need a running back, and I need a corner. There's some decent corners here. As for running backs, not so much. CJ Anderson. Rex Burkhead, Theo Riddick. I don't care. Give me Jordan Coyer. 64 in. I'll take it. <sighs> I think we just trade these picks away. I'm almost too upset to draft anybody now. I'm almost too upset to draft anybody. What can I get? I can get fifth round picks. Thank you for being a friend, my man. Tennessee. Alright, thank you. Alright, I traded away that final draft pick, the seventh round pick. This is our draft. <sighs> Why? Why did it do this to me? You should be Travis Kelsey. But instead it's Kiko Alonso. 
Otherwise, we had a tremendous draft. We filled a need at center. We filled a need at defensive tackle. We possibly got a new free safety. We got another left tackle and another right tackle to help us out. We got another corner that we needed. I mean, this would be a great draft if we went and got Kiko Alonso. This game hates me. This game just hates me. I don't know why it hates me, but it does. So we miss out on a tight end. We didn't get Tony Gonzalez. We didn't get Travis Kelsey. I'm super upset. I'm probably going to move one of you two to, to right tackle. We're going to get rid of Donald Stevenson because he's an absolute bust. Forget about him. We're going to move on. We're going to trade one of you two, either Jason Kelsey or Max Unger. I don't know which one. Um, as for defense end, we got eight-year-old Vincent Burns. I got a crap ton of right ends. Probably way too many. We got Sheldon Richardson and Akeem Hicks here. Kyle Williams we're probably going to have to trade. I don't know yet. Right outside linebackers looking solid. Middle linebacker. I hate you so much. Go Alonzo. Corner we're good with. Especially now that we got Jordan Poyer. I mean we got Devin McCourty and Brandon Carr who both played pr tremendously well. Sam Shields is growing. Jason McCourty's here as well. So corner's good. We got to get rid of somebody here. Don't know who that's going to be. This is fine. New kickers in. Oh my God. My God. <sighs> this preseason is going to be interesting. That's for sure. A lot of people are going to be changing hands. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of new faces on different teams. But thank you so much for stopping by watching. I know it may have been a frustrating episode to watch because I made that stupid mistake. But it's fine because I am happy. I'm totally happy. I understand. Don't you? Can't you see? I totally accept what happened. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Make sure to smash that like button, the notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!